The relationship between dog and man has existed for thousands of years. Comparatively speaking, terriers are a product of modern times. This video will concentrate on the last two centuries, explaining terrier function during that time and the effect this role had on the smart, modern look of today's show dog specimens. In doing so, it will explore the history of terriers from the earliest references in art and literature to the role of the terrier in the 21st century. <laughs> This is the earliest reference we could find of a dog of terrier type. It is taken from an illuminated manuscript which dates back to the 15th century, as does this wonderful painting. By 1536, the first classification of dogs was written by Dr John Case in a work entitled English Dogs. It lists that the terrier was used to hunt hare, fox, wolf, hart or deer, buck, badger, otter, polecat, lobster, weasel and coney or rabbit. The word terrier comes from the Latin terrarius, meaning earth. This classification reads, Another sort there is, which hunteth the fox and the badger only, whom we call terriers, because they, after the manner and custom of ferrets in searching for conies, or rabbits, creep into the ground, and by that means make afraid, nip, and bite the fox and the badger in such sort that either they tear them in pieces with their teeth being in the bosom of the earth, or else haul and pull them perforce out of their lurking angles, dark dungeons and close caves, or at least through conceived fear drive them out of their hollow harbours, insomuch that they are compelled to prepare speedy flight, and, being desirous of the next, albeit not the safest refuge, are otherwise taken and entrapped with snares and nets laid over their holes to the same purpose. During the 16th century, Many other writers also described terriers and the way they worked. By the 17th century, terriers of definite types were beginning to evolve, based on the purpose for which these terriers were used, plus the particular terrain in which they worked. All terriers that grace our show rings today are British in origin. There is one exception, the miniature Schnauzer, which is exhibited in the Terrier Group in the United States of America and Canada. The miniature Schnauzer was developed from the Schnauzer, a German breed which originated as a cattle dog. The reason for the miniature Schnauzer's inclusion in the Terrier Group in North America is probably his modern appearance of being trimmed to a Terrier outline rather than by reason of function, like the British Terriers. The recognition of the purebred terrier in Britain was with the production of the Kennel Club Stud Book, Volume 1. The stud books kept records of all dogs exhibited since the very first dog show in 1859. The first volume was published in 1874. However, that same first volume was originally named 1859 to 1874 because the first dog show for setters and pointers only 
was held in 1859. The following year at Birmingham in 1860, there were classes in two divisions or groups, the sporting division and the non-sporting division. The classes for black and tan terriers, white and other English terriers, Scotch terriers and toy terriers were all in the non-sporting division. The next year, in 1861, there were classes for bull terriers, black and tan terriers, white terriers, Scotch terriers, Dandy Dinmont terriers and Sky terriers. In London, in 1862, the first classes for fox terriers were seen. However, these were in the sporting division while the other terriers remained in the non-sporting division. The first stud book was based on the prizes won at dog shows conducted until 1874. Each dog was given a number and the pedigree recorded, a practice which has continued as the Kennel Club stud books have been published every year to this day. But unless recorded in an official manner, a type of dog cannot really be regarded as a purebred. In the first Kennel Club stud book, it was stated, by rigidly excluding or pointing out all doubtful pedigrees, I have endeavoured to make it as much a record of fact and truth as possible. <laughs>